Okay, this is about the Harbor Freight 300 pound tractor jack. And as we know, there's plenty of videos on YouTube for how to assemble the jack and all that other stuff. And hopefully this one will be able to answer a few questions and maybe even offer a few pointers. Now, here's the story. A lot of folks were wondering what this thing looks like stored. Well, you, you just saw it. What I'm going to do now is answer some questions as far as how much space it takes when it's under storage. Now, when it's stored up against the wall like this, this is a critical dimension for a lot of folks. And I measured it, and it sticks out from the wall exactly 14 and a half inches. Actually, maybe a little bit less than that, but maybe 14, between 14 and 14 and a half inches. Now, you'll notice I've got some orange tabs on this puppy. That's so I won't forget the things to talk about. Now, one of the things I want to mention is when you store this thing against the wall, I, as you can see, I bungied it because you don't want this thing falling away from the wall against your car or your whatever, okay? Down below, you should have some wheel stops because otherwise it might want to roll out. So that's two things, wheel stops and bungie it against the wall. Now, here's another thing. It comes with this pin, as you can see against the uh, handle back there. That's the pin that you put in when the jack is in position to be used. And it's a safety pin in case something happens to the hydraulic cylinder, it won't collapse on you. Now, that thing is always just hanging around and clanking. So what I did is to, I put a, one of those very, very strong magnets and I glued it to the uh, back of it. So when you're not using it, put it on there and the magnet holds the, uh, the safety pin in place. I find that's very helpful. Now, Another thing I want to talk about, when you go to collapse this, you may think, uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to collapse it as, you know, down to 14 inches like that guy said. Well, you will probably have to play with the release pedal and the pump pedal to release the cylinder or whatever so that it will allow you to collapse it all the way down to about 14 and a half inches. So that's something else I learned because you'll notice that it catches on certain things and the cylinder has to be coaxed into a lending close to 14 and a half inches. Okay, now, last but not least, if you look at the way at the bottom there, see that last orange tab? That's the pin that you have to put in place when the jack is in the upright position ready to be used. That's a safety pin, all right? It comes with a little cotter pin or whatever you want to call it. And that darn thing is kind of a pain to move in and out. So I added a key ring to it so it's easy to pull in and out because you have to put it in when you use it and you have to put it back in place when you store it against the wall. So put a, a, an extra key ring on that cotter pin to make that job a little bit easier. Okay, so I think that takes care of everything I wanted to mention. Okay, I'm looking at all my orange tabs, so that should do it. So here's one last look at what the Harbor Freight Riding Mower, a.k.a. Tractor Jack, looks like in the stored position. Okay, I hope that this uh, video was a little bit of a help to you. Okay, catch you later. Thanks for viewing.